Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contracts, services month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on Start a Podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so this is a very special episode. First off, I'm, re- I'm welcoming a return guest. So Annie Collins, she's been on the show before. For those of you that may have uh, caught the last episode, but we have a very uh, special announcement today. So she finally launched that Freedom Travel podcast. And for those of you that have been watching the show for listening to the show for a long time, um, you know I love supporting other podcasters. So first off, uh, Annie, I just want to welcome you back to the show. Hey, welcome, to, welcome back. Oh, I'm I'm delighted to be here as, as always, Adam. It's it's great fun. So, Annie, um, first off, I don't want to assume that all of our new listeners caught your first uh, your first episode with me, or you've been probably done multiple at this time. Love having you back. Um, but I don't, I don't want to assume that they caught that episode. So, before we get into the podcast, maybe let's just start out with telling uh, us a little bit more about what you do over at Freedom Travel, please. Yeah. Um, so, Freedom Travel is a uh, privately owned company. I've been in the business for 30 years. Not all of that has been full-time, most of it uh, full-time. And we do custom international travel. And what that means is uh, uh, people who want to travel without being in a group uh, necessarily, and I do a little bit of groups, but for the most part, it's independent travelers, um, honeymooners, empty nesters, um do a lot of um graduation trips, mother daughter trips, uh father son trips, a lot of family trips and so um but it's all custom. Everything we do is designed around the uh the special interest of the traveler and the family. And I love that. It's a great, um, and I think that's a great transition. So I want to dive right into this brand new podcast that you just launched, which I'm really excited to bring to my audience. So called uh, Freedom Travel Podcast. So first off, uh, congratulations on the launch. Uh, how do you feel now that's all said and done? I'm relieved. I have to say I was nervous to begin with. Um, I've done a lot of interviewing in my life and in different walks of my careers. And but this was different, and um, there were, felt like there were a lot of components to it. But you made it easy, and um, I'm just I'm I'm super thrilled. Yeah, I, I I'm thrilled also. So uh, for our agency, like I always listen to, I at least listen to the first you know episode or two. I want to get a feel for the content as we produce the show, and I want to understand you know what the what the host wants to get out of it. But when I heard your first your first um, take on some of these things, I was like, man, number one, um, you're really good. But number two, I was like, man, this show is better than mine. No offense to me, this isn't self <laughs> self depreciating humor or anything like that. It's just the truth. I was like that first episode I heard with you and your brother, so David Collins, a uh, big shout out to yeah. him on uh, visiting the major wine producers of Italy and France. And for my listeners, um, go and check out that episode. So it's really easy to find. Just put in Freedom Travel or Annie Collins in any of the major um, any of the major sites. So whether it's iTunes, Spotify, I mean it's everywhere. So definitely want to check that one out. But when I heard about like you just you and him talking about your travels, I'm like, man. You have lived, number one, an interesting life, and to bring that out to you know, like the audience and to teach them at the same time about um, not only about your expertise in travel, but about the other local things. Like in this case, it happened to be wine. I mean, talk a little bit more about that experience and how you go about planning your content, because I, I found it super interesting. 
Yeah, so, um, it, you know, each trip is different, as I said, and so I approach it um, quite differently. Um, but in, in that particular case, David and I had, I had, let me say this, I had wanted to do this trip years and years ago. Um, when David was in the wine business, I was like, David, here's what we got to do. We got to take people, you know, traveling. We got to take them to these countries. And he just, he just really couldn't get into it uh, because he was, he was up to his mm -hmm. neck and grapes, I think. And so, um, <laughs> but we, but we, we ended up uh, uh, collaborating eventually, and it was so much fun. We attacked it um, as two partners would. I took care of the logistics, that's the hotels, the airlines, the uh, travelers, uh, who's got travel insurance, all of those kinds of things, where the, you know, transportation. And David sniffed out the best places that he wanted to visit in terms of um, wineries. And those were diverse. He, they were in diverse parts of Italy, we'll say, and France. But in diverse parts of the country, diverse wines, of course, but even the wineries were very different. One was uh, the only uh, woman-owned winery, and mm. one was an ancient winery, and some of them are very contemporary and, and very zoomy kind of things. So, um, and, and it also tied in with what he's doing at Big Cork. So he was on a mission to explore and learn himself. So that work formula worked very well in Italy and it worked and very well in France. And one of the, one of the formulas that I use, we call it freedom travel for a reason because most people, I think people want to travel the way I do, which is I don't want to be herded around. I want, I want to find my own adventures. I don't want you to tell me what to do. I don't want to eat with the same, you know, 10 people. I want to be on my own. So every other day is a freedom day. And that, that formula is perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so you have, I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of episodes you've already recorded out there. So we have four out. I think, well, as of this recording, I think your fifth one just went live. I haven't checked that yet, but I'm pretty sure your fifth one just went live according to our production schedule over here. Um, so like you have other just amazing things, discovering Croatia with Graham Carter. Um, you, you do, you do your mm -hmm. monologue where you're talking about your 30 years of a uh, bittersweet travel career. I mean, I loved your monologue, um, travel stories, um, Turkey, Italy, Portugal, Greece, Morocco, Cuba. Um, I mean, you just have so much, like the content's so interesting. I mean, what's next for you? Like what kind of things, and you don't have to be too specific, but like what kind of things are you dreaming up or concocting for the listeners? Because I know you already have great shows out there and I want my audience uh -oh. to go check it out, but I know you have some things up your sleeve too. I know you. I do. I do. I do. Uh, we're going to be talking with John from England. And he does the UK and Scotland, and he's got a great deal of passion for that. We're going to be talking with some of the travelers, like uh, Jonathan, who surprised his two teenage girls and took them to London. They had no idea. Um, <laughs> his, the same, the same guy, same same guy, uh, was getting married, and uh, he and his uh, fiance rearranged their wedding so that it would coincide wow. with our Italy trip so that they could take their honeymoon to Italy with us. So on that trip I was talking about a few minutes ago, Jonathan and Melissa got married two days before, then they met us in New York, and then they went on this great adventure with us. And so we got to go on their honeymoon. So we're going to talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about uh, – we're going to get serious and talk about how important uh, travel is to education. I say it's never a vacation. It's always an education. It, it just, people say I'm going on vacation and I just kind of roll my eyes. I'm like, well, that's what you think today, but, <laughs> but, I'll, but tell me, you know, so we're going to learn a lot about the five, uh, the, the, the three to five reasons why you take your children and your grandchildren, um, traveling as part of our responsibility in, in the education world. Uh, we're going to talk about airlines and, how they went from being so much fun and you would dress, you would wear high heels, you would eat on, you know, China. And it was just a different experience as I was growing up and, and how now you're kind of herded in and you might be given a bag of something and you're wearing a mask. And it just, it's just mm. really – so we're going to talk about the differences in airlines. So we are going to talk to um, travelers. We're going to talk to partners, um, partners that – 
have saved my clients from so many tragedies, like Mm -hmm. one woman who left her $6,000 in cash in the Rome Hotel safe, uh, didn't reveal that or see that until she got all the way down to uh, Sorrento at the bar and went to pay, and she was like, <gasps> and, you know, how we get that um, oh. resolved and how people have left their luggage or it's just, Adam, the, 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 the stories <laughs> go on and on and on. And I'm hoping to share that and also to let people know, you know, not not all the sweet stories, but you know, there's a lot of things that you make mistakes as you go along, and no one wants to admit that. But but because of the mistakes I've made, I, d- I only make them once, and we never mm. make them again. Oh, I love it. I think that's a great um, a great testament to um, to the type of content that you want to put out there. And for everybody listening that just got really excited about everything Annie said, just so you know, like spoiler alert, this is how her entire podcast is. She's excited. She's fired up. She's having these these amazing guests on there that are just fired as fired up and passionate about what she's doing and about what they're doing. And I'll tell you, it's just really a recipe for success. So um, I'll ask you this question Andy because I asked all of my my new podcasters so now that you're you've launched you um you know the, the podcast is out you have your content you've put out some content you have um you know you have some of your um um next content planned you know was it all you that you thought it would be was this was this hard was this too insurmountable like I'll give you an example because a lot of people I tell like either whether it's writing a book launching a podcast like these types of projects like they feel like oh well I'm not like a professional like radio host or this or that I'm like you don't have to be you just have to have a message you have to have something that you want to really share with the world so now that you're on the other side as a podcaster like tell us a little bit more about that and, and your experience yeah, you're exactly right. It, you, you know, you go in with these big ideas, you know, I, I can do a podcast, uh, I can do a, open an art school, I can do all these things. But when you actually get into it, you, the trepidation can be can freeze you. At least that's the way it does for me. I, I actually get frozen and I can't, I can't navigate very well. Um, you made it, you know, I've said it a dozen times, you made it super easy. But on the other side of it, to answer your question, on the other side of it, and this is going to be perhaps a little embarrassing, um, it is such an ego trip. It is so exciting to see your your company and your name pop up in iTunes. And it's it's like it must be like an actor seeing their name on the billboard. It's, it, 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 it's exciting. It's it, – I love the sharing of it. It's much easier now. Um, you know, we had to get some some uh, some formulas down, but um, I I am I'm thrilled. I am I'm excited. I'm thrilled. And like I said, um, there's nothing like seeing your name in lights. I love it, and uh, and I I don't think it's an ego trip. I just think it's really cool. Like however we want to say ego, cool, whatever. I mean, it's awesome. Like just throwing this out there. Like once upon a time to get to get your story out there and your message and other things. I mean, you needed you know millions of dollars or these big studios or other things. So thank God for technology and the way you know it, it's transitioned to now to where now oh. not only are you and and the cool part about this too and my favorite thing about the podcast platform is that not only are you you know promoting and you know teaching from your end but what an amazing thing you were able to do for your brother so for david or for you know uh, some of the other people mm-hmm. you brought on there graham carter like you're giving them promotion you know you're you're both creating something in that audio and that experience and now the world can benefit from it too so it's just so many that's like win 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 scenario um i i think it all is. parties involved really just win from the whole experience exactly and and i, I do want to add one thing that that um is 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 that the the platform of a podcast is very interesting for me because i my market um is is mostly you know older older folks but when i started but now it's more of the 50 60 range there's a lot of 40 56 range there's a lot of uh you know grad kids graduation gifts. Mm-hmm. So I have I have travelers uh from all ages and not every 
um, not every avenue works for everyone, but what I love about the podcast is new, it feels new, it's trendy, mm-hmm. it's interesting, it's, I feel like it's a little cutting edge, and I feel like it, it really um, it, it speaks to all ages, and that's what I'm most excited about. That's awesome. Well, Annie, uh, as always, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. If somebody's listening to this and they want more information on freedom travel, um, I mean, what's the best way for them to connect with you and your team overall? Because I uh, definitely want, want to make sure they follow up. Yeah, the best way to, is to go to the website, um, freedomtravelllc.com. There's three L's in the Freedom Travel LLC. You can also find me on Facebook. Same thing, Freedom Travel LLC. Um, and those are the those are the two best ways. Um, my phone number's there. I'm always available by cell phone, email, text, um, and and never hesitate to call or reach out to me because I just love to talk about travel. Fantastic. Well, Annie, congratulations again on launching the new show. Um, For my listeners, also, don't forget, go check out Freedom Travel Podcast. You can find it anywhere, any of the major platforms, Spotify, iTunes, all that good stuff. Freedom Travel uh, Podcast with Annie Collins. So really excited for to have you go listen to that and uh, give that a subscribe. And if you're listening to this podcast for the first time, uh, don't forget, give us a subscribe here. Love to have you as a return listener. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button and, uh, and also, so leave us some comments in the video. Love to keep the conversation going over in the YouTube community. And Annie, thanks again for coming back on the show. It's been a great time. It was so much fun. Thanks, Adam.